What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, and welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, in our efforts to eventually get to Kilkohol Key, which is where the next Crystal Star is supposed to be, we assembled a boat, we got ourselves a captain, we got ourselves a crew, and now all we need is a navigator. We need someone to sail the darn thing. So, in doing, or in our search for that, we're going to be heading on over here to the east end of Rogueport. I'm going to switch on over to Toddy. And we are going to go on this side of the bridge and make our way across. We could have technically done this like a chapter ago, since we've had Toddy for two chapters now. But, I mean, we couldn't have actually talked to the guy that we're trying to talk to. But first things first, I'm going to go back here. There's a star piece back there. Then I'm going to head on over this way, hop up here, get myself a shine sprite. And then I want to draw your attention to this feller over here, who is a minstrel. And apparently he has a bunch of tales to tell. His name is Grifty. It's been my days here in Leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Rogueport. If you'd like, I can share them with you, but it requires just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Um... Okay, so as far as all of these are concerned, and there's a lot, I don't know how long it's actually going to take me to read through all these, nor do I even know how interesting they necessarily are. So if you would like me to actually go through these tales for like maybe an episode or so, uh, or I, I actually don't know how long it'll take, but if you'd like me to go through all of them, please let me know in the comments and I'll see if maybe I can find the time to actually do that. Uh, but I'm going to switch back over to Vivian, and then I am going to do this, and we are going to roll on up and go right through the chimney. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to make a mess, sir, but you probably should clean out your fireplace. What do you blokes want? Well, I'll talk to you in a second, but first I want to go through your door, and I'm going to steal your shine sprite, because this is mine now, and I have I earned it because I saw it first. And now, let's actually talk to the guy. Admiral Bobbery, I have the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Please, don't insult us. We already know that you're the Admiral, so just admit it. Huff, <sighs> what poppycock. Tell me, what would you do, uh, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job? Hmm? Oh, so sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But maybe you don't understand how important this is. We need you. Without you, we'll never get to kill Hall Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is no. But, sir, now I'm with you. I shall... Okay, well, I guess there's no convincing you. What are we going to do, Vivian? What do you think, Mario? Nothing we say seems to be enough to convince this man. But don't you find it odd? Why would a sailor have such hatred for the sea? We need answers. Maybe we should ask around town about this man's story. Well, it just so happens that I know exactly who we should talk to about the story. And actually, do I have enough? Hold on a second. I want to see something. Because I have five shine sprites. Is every single one of my... No, it's not. Okay, hold on. We're going to head on in here real quickly. I know this is like a detour thing, and I'm sorry for this, but I really want to actually get this done. I was not originally going to do this right off of the bat, but since we are only one more Shine Sprite away, let's do it. So I power up this partner. Let's, let's get it done. We are definitely going to be getting one more Shine Sprite throughout the next chapter. Like, I can promise you that because I already even remember the location of one of those Shine Sprites. So, yeah, I'm not feeling too bad because, yeah, we have enough. Since I just grabbed two. I was going to save them considering we only had three, but since we've already grabbed so many, eh, we're good. Alright, so Miss Mouse is now good. Let's switch back on over to Vivian because I said I was actually going to be using her throughout the majority of this chapter. Let's keep going on over this way. In fact, I'd like to use Vivian for the majority of the rest of the game, but I don't have that luxury as much as I would like to. Alright, so we're going to want to head on over this way and head on in here. And we're going to ignore Luigi. It's up. Uh, you freaking Mario Kart adventures. Go over here. I guess Luigi Kart. And talk to, I guess on this side, talk to you. You say Barbary won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Barbary back on the water? Yes, absolutely, 100%. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want a mountain expedition to kill Hawkey. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Barbary, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Barbary's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it, uh, tell it to you if you really want me to. Uh, please do I can take it. No, I hate that. Yeah, I can take it. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. 
but not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he had returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts that they tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. But there's... Okay, never mind. I was about to say something really messed up. I can't imagine... I can't imagine what that poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want to return to the sea? Yes, we have no choice. Very well. I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. An old letter! A letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You can hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, which is exactly what happened, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. I am an asshole and never fulfilled it. When I saw Bobbery in misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this. Wait, hold on a second, sir. Hold on a second. This exact scenario, the exact scenario that Scarlet predicted comes to pass and the exact thing that would have been used best to console the guy, according to his own wife, was given to you and you couldn't bring yourself to, I don't know, mend the situation. I don't know how you could have been so emotionally wrecked to have done the right, uh, to have done the wrong thing. I don't get that at all. I've regretted it since. Please take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do to take it to Barbara. You're not just a coward. You're an asshole. Oh, my goodness. Like, seriously. What a douche. <laughs> Enjoy being a minimum wage worker for the rest of your life. You kind of deserve it. All right. Let's head on over. <laughs> Sorry. That was horrible. Oh, but if anyone does deserve it, it's a dick like that. All right. Let's head. <laughs> let's go talk to Bobbery and see if we can fix this situation. Wow, that was ruthless. I apologize, but at the same time, I kind of don't because he is like, he's responsible for all of this. Bobbery, if I were you, I would seriously walk on, after I give you this letter, walk on over to the bar and just beat the living crap out of him. What? Oh, my Blabberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you! But this. Pardon? A letter you say? For, for me? I didn't know you were the UPS guy. What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me nothing, uh, gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. A, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? You just hear an explosion? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why, wait, hold on a second. Why does he have an axe and a war hammer above the door? How would a bomb even use that? Anyway... Yes, love, I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. You okay, dude? Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Kill Hall Key? How rough. If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery, wonderful. All right, let's go. Awesome. So now we can actually finally head out to sea. The ship's in the harbor. Hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. All right, well, have at it, dude. Uh, let me actually take a look and see. Do I need to shop, uh, stop by the shop at all? Gear, my honey shroom, life shroom. I'm probably pretty good. You know, maybe, maybe I should check some of these items. No, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine for now. Let's just head straight on over there and finally shove off. What do you say? I know it's been way too freaking long, and I really, really should not have taken me an entire episode just to figure. Uh oh, we got an email. Uh, do I want to look at it? I kind of actually do. Hold on a second. Go into our gear. Mailbox SP. Petuni. Yoo-hoo. Hi, Mario. How are you? I'm uh, good. No, very good. No, great. Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away, like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise. From Petuni. Wait. Why is there an egg? 
Why is there an egg? No, genuinely, I'm very confused. Are you like a... Are you, I thought she was like a little... You know what? I'm not even going to question it. We're just going to keep going. I keep learning way too many weird things about like the side characters that we've met earlier on in the game. And now I'm like giving it all second looks and wondering what was really going on. But uh, let's head on down. And uh, let's get out of here. I think it's about time we get out of here. Let's do this thing. Hello, everybody. Are we good to go? I knew you'd get Bobbery back on board. You wonderful mustached man, you. To you, I must say ahoy. I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yeah, let's shove off. We're finally going. Very well to the sea. Raise anchors and set sails for thrills and emotions. And romance and money. Our destination is Dread Killhall Key. Wait. Wait up. Oh, you. But you were like right there, dude. We weren't even going. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We're finally heading out with our very inconspicuous crew that no one would be any of the wiser might have a shady character or two on board. None at all. Ah, oh, excuse me. This is X-Not-1 here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X-Not-1 here, over. Roger, reading you five by infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is on is on board vessel. And so it finally begins. It only took what three episodes to get to this point from the last chapter. Chapter five, the key to pirates. That's it. I thought I was gonna say pirates treasure, but okay, the key to pirates. Cool. That was a very good title. It seems a little shortened. But off we go. Now, what awaits us with this crayon-drawn sun? Month star day XO. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must scoff. Flavio... Oh, it's Flavio speaking. I'm stupid. Uh, oh, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. Oh, well, that was fast. Monstar Day XX, another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. Monstar Day X Note, things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Are we actually going to? Oh, it's nighttime now, okay. Skull Captain casts his gaze. Red jewel shines and plays. Boom, basa, boom, festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends. Three times red stash lands on his end. Blue stash belly four times is whacked. So let's hear those fireworks go boom. There is like no... This isn't a rhyme. This isn't a limerick. It is nothing. It is just random words that you are saying. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh, 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 oh I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you of one of my many writ tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was locked in deadly combat with the sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. Great, he started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it too. Uh, why is the... Wait, wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio, awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story, uh, but the ship stopped. Is he still just laughing to himself? Hello? Huh? Stopped, you say to me, after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm, so take care of it. Oi, aye, aye, Flavio, I'll get right on it, uh, on it right quick. Wait a tick. So, I mean, how did you do that? That is actually very impressive without any arms. Also, he's got teleporting powers! Who is this Babam? He is so mysterious. Well, oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stop a moment, you scallywags. Um, why did the moon disappear? Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. Oh, gee. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. There is blue fire. That's like the hottest fire. Well, technically white fire is. What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Someone tell me what's going on. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Things are getting bad. Pirate ghosts. Oh gosh. All the rumors are true. Well, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Hi. <laughs> that is the face of death right there. Do not panic yourselves. This is just a dream that we are all having awake. Now, now quickly move the boat. 
Yeah, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Oh, j okay, that's just a straight-up fire hazard. I'm, I'm, this whole thing is made of wood, isn't it? Oh, ghostly ooh thing, are you really the Savage Pirate King? I help me! Buck up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax, 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 I say. You must simply take it easy. Uh, what? Oh. Bobbery, no! Excuse me. Listen, everyone. Uh, forget it. Just go make a path! Bobbery, look alive, man! We must get out of here! But Bobbery fell overboard. Every rich Burton shit for himself. <laughs> I like how that toad is just completely calm. All right, well, whatever. He's like, well, I'm accepted my fate. I'm good to go. <laughs> Month star, day X star. Fortune from disaster, the kindly she sea washed Sora. What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along. No, and yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now? Ah, we may be lost without hope, stricken in the, wi in the wilds. Month star, day X heart. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flotsam washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on this salty bounty of the sea, but then what, I ask? Are we going to get to see this? Month star, uh, day circle circle. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, oh, poor sweet SS Flavion. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have had no sign of Bobbery and the others. In my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Oh, month star, day, circle, X. The three days in the aisle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Oi, Captain Stash! Oh, at least you made it, okay. Ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. Okay, uh, I'd love to do that in the next episode. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I hope you all enjoyed it very much. In the next episode, we are going to finally explore Keel Hall Key. And, uh, I don't know, man. I, I feel kind of bad about Bobbery. I mean, all this time, he finally sets sail, and then he's just lost forever. That really sucks. That really sucks, man. But we'll worry about it in the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very much. And, then, and I will see you all in the next one.